Hiya and welcome to Tykes TV. Uh, today I've got Christian on, um, a, a Fulham fan. Uh, they're going extremely well at the top of the league at the minute and we're, we're not. So it's great to have you on, Christian. Thank you, mate. Thanks for having me on. Uh, so where to start? We're, we're Fulham. I mean, is it we expected to be in league or is it beyond your wildest dreams at the minute? Well, at the minute, it's literally a dream season. I have, I did not expect what we're being treated to at the moment. Like, it's honestly incredible. It, it's just great. I don't want it to end, really. <laughs> I mean, he seems to be scoring goals for fun. Uh, Mitrovic, yeah. Silva, again, he seems to have got a, you know, play. A bit. What I can see is of his uh, Fulham, it's not just like an individual player. It's like it seems to be a, a team effort. Uh, seems to be very positive and confident going forward and attacking. Yeah, yeah. Um, we have the pe- people like Carvalho and um, Cabano and Wilson on the wings, and obviously Mitra in the middle. I think it's just, I'm, I'm not sure, just like Parker, our former manager, just never managed to get a tune out of them. And obviously mm. bringing in Wilson, I think that's really helped us and the young player. And yeah, it's just going really well at the moment. Yeah, it, it it's weird, right? Because I know that when uh, when Parker left Fulham, I thought, oh, I wonder what we're going to do Fulham. You know, we might struggle, but it, you know, Parker's gone elsewhere, and it, although he's doing a job with uh, Bournemouth at the minute, you can see that when we played him earlier on, you can see he was like pretty. Park was pretty stubborn. He won't want, wanted to yeah. change it, and when we got uh, when we sat shop as previous manager and Poyer Spadger came in. I know we sat in stands and we lost uh, Craven Cottage 4-1. And when I was watching it, I'm thinking, you're passing or so fast or slick, Mitrovic. You know, it, you could tell confidence of the aim, but it's sent to be going on a on an unbelievable win. And I, I said to my son at the time, I said, Fulham going to go up automatic here. I said, because it's by the first side. And it just seems to be confidence. I can't see any blips or what's going to be happening at, at Fulham. Um for me, I'm looking at it as a fan from outside in. If I were in your position, I'd be thinking, yeah, just, you know, keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. And then automatic promotion to Premier League. Um, in January transfer, window, did you, were you happy or unhappy? Would you like to see different kind of players come in to strengthen it up or were you pretty happy? Um, well, obviously we brought in Neko Williams, who had a great mm. game against Swansea, who scored two goals. And he's got... A few assists this season so yeah i mean i was pretty happy because obviously carvalho didn't go to liverpool at the time mm. so i was happy that we kept him um and yeah i mean sort of with with everything else yeah it was a pretty good january hazard window i don't think we need to strengthen that much in the window yeah when when i was i mean we got two loan players in uh dominus queen who we were on well. on loan ourselves uh, went back to watford and we got him and his many difference and uh bassett two loan players uh but I think you did well as well because I think when you whenever you you're performing well in the league, it's always hard to keep hold of your players because you get like your your Premier League clubs like looking at yeah. them. So I think you did pretty well to keep hold of like you know what you've just said with players, uh, especially Mitrovic. I mean, he's just got unbelievable for him. He just seems to be scoring for fun at the minute, doesn't he? Um, he's honestly incredible. Like, I don't, he's never had a better Championship season. I don't think he will again, to be honest. What do you put that down to, that, uh, Christian? Man? Do you put it down to that he's getting supplier goals or just confidence or a mixture of everything? I think it's because obviously when we were in the Prem, Parker hardly played him and he was like on, on the edge. Like we thought he was going to leave hmm. because like the relationship was so fractious. But in the Championship, he has got people like Carvalho, Cabano, and Wilson that are supplying him. And I think it's just, yeah, it's like you said, it's just a mix of everything, really. Yeah, he's he's never been this good. That's the thing. <laughs> yeah, that's it. I mean, while everybody's scoring goals for fun, I mean, his confidence must be sky high at the minute. And, you know, you can't see him. Even if I think if there's a bit of an on off game, he's, he's always a threat. It seems to be that kind of player, no matter what, you know, there's a goal in him. So I think, because as Barnsley, we're going we're gonna to find it hard as sense, to be fair. Uh, I think you won 5 1, didn't you, at uh, Swansea yes, in midweek? Swansea, yes. So, again, it's like you're not only winning, but you're winning with a load of goals, kind of thing. So, yeah. And we seem to be the other way around. We, you know, we, we conceded in 95th minute against Stoke City. So, that were one of his games in hand. Uh, it's going to be on 
uh, Sky TV, I think I think it's the right and half twelve kickoff, isn't it? Okay. Saturday. So um I think you're still gonna be fetching a fair few up to be fair though. Uh, even though it's gonna be a long journey for well, you. Yeah, we're bringing a few up coaches at six AM, so that'll be fun. <laughs> yeah. Uh <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be a long day then, but you're probably going back with three points to be fair. Hopefully, I mean big yeah. confidence. Um so we all know about Mitrovic. I think all football world knows about Mitrovic, mm-hmm. but would you say there's any other players what have impressed you this season or you thought mm, last season weren't right there, but this season we seem to have stepped up to Mark. Is there any other players we should keep well, an eye out on? Definitely Carvalho. He's just like, because mm. when we were in the Prem on the park, he scored his first goal against Southampton, I think it was. Um, and we've literally just brought him into the team and he's done so well. He's got like eight goals or something like that. He's a really, really good talent, and obviously Wilson and Cabano, which you'll obviously know about. Yeah, definitely about Car- Carvalho though. He's really good, and even Nico Williams at fullback, really good player as well. We're gonna have his work with Tartos, I know we are. <laughs> um, I mean, we've got. Uh, I mean, Queen. I mean, to be fair, since he came in, Queen is is really is is brought that bit of confidence. Mm. You know, is I think he's wanted to play football, and he scored a great goal against Stoke. I mean. We had our sat behind goal with my son and it was going across the penalty box. I'm thinking, yeah, no, I no, no. Really and then all of a sudden he stopped to come back. Yeah, and he just placed it. It was an unbelievable goal. Mm. I'm like, yeah, get in. And unfortunately, we couldn't tell him to victory. But um, other place to keep an eye out on. Morris, Carlton Morris, I mean, the striker, he's been yeah, in and out with injuries. Uh, Collywood draws to that kind of thing. But... Again, we we are in league. It's not. It's it's. They it don't lie. We've been inconsistent, uh, been up and down. All to play was on form. Was not on form, and then we just seem to think we won against Middlesbrough three two, and then we lose against Derby. Pretty poor performance. And then we, oh, we we'll play three at back now rather than four at back, and we, we seem to be playing about the system again. Um, I'm hoping. There's not going to be many changes on the side, but I have a feeling it's going to mess about with it again. I've just, I've just got a feeling it's going to play about with it for some reason. Um, yeah. I'm hoping, though, from a Barnsley side, that it doesn't go out for a, a draw. Because us as Barnsley, we need a win. Yeah, and of course, I think yeah. if, I think if we try and stop you from playing, like I said, Mitrovic can have a quiet game and all of a sudden from nowhere he'll just score a, a, a goal. Yeah. Um I don't think you're well. I mean, it's a daft question, like, but will you as Fulham approach this game any differently? Will you just go with the same setup? Do you think? Uh, well, obviously, Marco Silva said that it doesn't matter where you are in the league because we can see that because you beat QPR, you mm. beat Middlesbrough, you only just drew to Stoke, so you're not losing every game. And I'm not going into it thinking, oh, this is going to be so easy because I generally don't think it's going to be easy. Mm. You have those players like. Callum Styles, like Bassey, who's been very good. Um, obviously, Queener, who I think will probably score against us. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's not one that I'm approaching thinking this is just going to be, you know, we're just going to wipe them aside because I don't think we are. I oh, think it's yeah. going to be a well fought game, to be honest. That, and that, that's interesting, that because for, uh, straight after the start game, it's probably people said it in more frustration of like saying, or get ready for part bus up kind of thing against uh, Fulham because we're going to lose. I think mm-hmm. more as well because uh, you bet Swansea five one. It will like what we couldn't see then because we went down to your place and we lost four mm-hmm. one. But I think we have being at home. I'm hoping that it's going to be. I mean, obviously, I'm going to say win all the time. Um, but I've just got a feeling it's going to be a draw. Of this I, I I know there's going to be goals in it. I just know yeah. from Fulham's point of view. Uh, my art will say two one bars, but I know it's not going to be that. Yeah, I, I think it's. I think it could be a two two draw. Of this, uh, yeah, I think so because we'll be both be going at it because obviously you said you need to win. We and we 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 as well on on uh, Sky TV. We never really seem to do well as well. Uh, early kick off with with Sky. Every time we seem to be on Sky, we always seem to have a, a, a bit of a poor game. So, I think that it's going to be a long journey for your sons as well. Uh, you're going to be coming up from uh, six o'clock. So, I think it's it's, it's just a weird one that, uh, that 
it's, you all got to make such a long travel up, and then we'll be on Sky TV, and we all we always yeah. seem to play bad. Um, I, I, I just hope it's a good game, and I hope we get a good yes. referee as well. I, we get a good referee as well. Um, again, when when we lost at your place, and it was, you know, your manager came and kind of thing, but I think you touched on a good uh, subject via uh, Christian is that. Queen, I think he could be up for this as well. Something to prove. He'll definitely be up for this, I think. Um, what's your score prediction going to be on this one? Uh, um, I'm going to go with a two-one to Fulham, just because mm. I, I just don't think that we're going to like smash you. I just don't think we are. Mm. But also, mm. obviously, I don't want to lose. I mean, we could, but I, I'll take a two-one or one-nil. Anything that gets us over the line, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you, you, you haven't lost that many, have you? an handful, have you? I'm just looking at the table now, you've um, lost five. So, yeah. I mean, you know, you've you've got 76 points and Bournemouth is in second at 62. So, your form, to be fair, is like one, lost, one, 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 one. But you're winning games and you seem to be winning them pretty, I mean, for me, pretty comfortable with a decent goal uh, scoring yeah. uh, record as well. Um, it'd be interesting. It'd be an interesting game. I hope it's a good game. And... I think that's all we just thought for because when we were uh, our defeat, uh, our defeat sent like a defeat against Stoke when we drew one apiece, it seems to be all revolve about referee. Um, I don't know what it's been like at Fulham at refereeing standards. Do you, do you see a bit of inconsistency as well? The EFL referees are just not. I just they're just not good. I don't, mm. I don't think. I'm not a fan of them. Yeah. I think the vast majority of fans in champion, uh, you know, in cha- uh, championship have been saying that. But I know they're on about fetching in some kind of watered down version of VAR, but mm. you've got to get the standard referees up as well. Yeah, I think exactly. if you concentrate against standard referees, because for the one point uh, for us at Barnsley, and it was a stonewall penalty, even, you know, you get some of Stoke City fans and they're coming over saying, hey, look at replays. Because mm. he just got tackled from back. And then. He's even looking at linesman. At linesman's like with a flag, he's one wave and over, and he's like, "Are you not saying wavelength for you or what? You, you, this is yeah. your job, you know." It exactly. seems second guessing, but yeah. Well, I'm going. I want to say two one bounds, but I'm not. That's my heart. But I'm going to go two two. Mm. Uh, you're going to say two one for them. Yeah. Um, I think if we uh, manage to keep you at, at two goals, I think we'll, I think <laughs> I think we've done pretty good. To be fair, yeah, like no, but, exactly. Uh, Definitely. Yeah. Um, so it's been great having you on. And look, everybody what's been on, uh, if you're watching it back, leave your uh, comments below. Do you, th- do you agree with uh, Christian, uh, me, or you might think it's completely different? Uh, leave your comments below. Leave us your score predictions. Uh, it's, well, it's been great having you on, Christian. I've really Thank appreciated you for it. Me. Really, really appreciate, appreciate it. it. And uh, everybody what's watching, one thing left to say, hopefully Barnes can never win, but you never know. But... Uh, Let's have a good game, a good refereeing, and uh, come on, you Reds.